So, I recently had a massive heart attack. Ah. And yeah, I'm smiling about it now because sometimes that's all you can do. You know, somebody once told me that, like sometimes things get so crazy and so bad that all you can do is just smile or laugh. And I think that's, that's a good point. And you know, it beats falling to pieces, I guess. So trying to stay optimistic about things. There are some uncertainties still out there. And I'm just taking it one step at a time. But I decided to do this vlog, uh, these videos. I don't know if vlog is still even a term these days. But just to talk about things and, and things I encounter and things I'm learning and, and just taking it all one step at a time and seeing how things proceed, hopefully in a positive way manner so i'm gonna call this uh the 180 uh, i'm sure somebody somewhere has used a similar name but I'm calling it the 180 because that's kind of where i am in life and how i have to approach a lot of things i have to completely kind of redirect certain things that i'm used to and a big deal a big part of this is because i have two sons they are three years old and five months old. And it's very important that I'm there for them as long as possible, as, as much as I can be. So every step that I take going forward, it has to be with them in mind, which is, is, is very important. So as I approach this new direction, there are three primary facets that I am looking at and one of them is more exercise which actually i don't mind so much once upon a time i used to actually be pretty active and i like going to the gym and things like that um less stress which that might be challenging you know it's supposed to be things like less life and work stress and so see how that one goes do that as much as possible and definitely try to not sweat the small stuff you know i guess that'll be you know dependent on situations but really need to learn how to approach that better but this one is about that third facet food oh my god food and i love to eat i love food uh, I grew up in the South. I grew up in Louisiana. We did not have, in my area, access to a lot of amenities, such as, at least where I grew up, how I grew up, local grocery stores. So it was mostly hitting the local restaurants. And I grew up on a diet mostly of fried chicken and pizza and hamburgers and these are a few of my favorite things and I love those things but no more no more so that sucks that's that's the rough part that's gonna be the roughest part and so I'm already I'm already taking steps there you know trying we not even trying just completely re-altering my diet which is hard it's, it's difficult and I tell myself, you know, the food I'm eating may not be exciting, but, um, you know, dying and not being there for your kids tastes worse, I'm sure. It has a more of a bitterness to it. So that's the trade-off, that's the switch, and it, it's worth it. So I will definitely do that, but it's a challenge. And you know, you never realize as you're driving down the street just how many fast food restaurants there are. Oh man, just driving down the street, you see uh, Little Caesars, a Pizza Hut, a Popeye's chicken, uh, Bill Miller's chicken, fried chicken barbecue. I mean, just food place after food place after food place all the food you can no longer eat but I've got to do it but it's rather funny because I actually went to my cardio rehab today I'll do another vlog on that later 
And as I'm walking out of there, the, the gentlemen who were there were talking themselves about how much they miss fried chicken, because fried chicken might just be the best food on earth. Right up there with pizza, fried chicken pizza, and breakfast tacos, and then, you know, hamburgers. So that's that was my four food groups. And so the fried chicken is the one that I'm, I might miss the most, I don't know, depending on what mood I'm in, because and breakfast tacos too, that papas y chorizo. Ooh, that's, that's rough. But gotta put that out of my mind. Can't really do that. Cause gotta do a low salt, uh, low, uh, low everything diet. Let's just be honest, low everything. So, 180, taking things one step at a time, approaching things from a completely different direction. So I'll take a moment. Uh, also, if you've watched this video, thank you very much. Uh, give it a like. I've never really done vlogs like this before, that's for sure. Um, and I'm also going to take some time because I've also written some novels. Uh, was with a small publisher for a while and I wrote through them six novels. So now is a good time to promote the heck out of them because if I was going to be selling some <laughs> books right now, <laughs> I could definitely use uh, that edition. This one's called Shadows of the Inferno. You can currently find it on Kindle and through Amazon. And I'm not sure of any other booksellers at the moment because it's been a very trying few years. But I'm trying to get that jump started again because like I said, selling books would definitely be helpful right now. So tell all your friends, hey, there's this cool crazy writer who drank too much coffee and ate too much fried chicken 